race for you. It seemed like your approach to it was kind of let the race come to you, and when you could make those passes happen, uh, you did. So, I mean, how did you kind of feel about the night and, and how everything went? That's how it was. I kind of let it come to me, and that's what you have to do, at least in my opinion, that's what you have to do in the, on those tracks. Yeah. Uh, if you push the envelope too much, there's always something that's going to come up and bite you, so I just kind of let it come to me, and I had the... Uh, whatever, like I, I was just feeling good enough to be able to do that, right? Be in that position and then was able to capitalize uh, down that one rhythm lane yeah. uh, to make the pass to the lead. When you uh, messed up the double on the last half of the race, how much was it like, oh crap, they're coming I just here. felt like more like a dork. I knew I had a gap <laughs> on Justin and I was probably going to be okay, but I'm like, I know the camera's going to be on and I like missed the double. It's just like a knucklehead. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, I got a little bit nervous, but I'm like, no, I got enough gap, I'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was it was definitely a test. Um, you know, after kind of got everything from the doctors, and we had a small hairline fracture in my hand, and then just a bone contusion in my shoulder, which you know it's something that's like a two two week thing. So uh, got got to the race day and was just kind of feeling everything out. Indy's a track that I've always really liked and uh, do well with. So I was like, man, I really want to race, and uh, yeah, I was glad I did. It, it actually, as the day got on, it went better and better and better. And like you said, I wasn't able to ride during the week and. Um, so yeah, when I got there, it was good to just feel it out, see how it was, and then you know save the best for last, which was the main event. So with a with a solid result. Yeah, in that main event too, it seemed like everybody was really close together for a long time. How was like the intensity of that battle? Well? Yeah, it was a battle, man. And I was just on the the back end of it. You know, I didn't get a great start, and uh, it was tough with the laughers, man. We were we were duking it out uh, the whole main event. So uh, yeah, I was pretty pumped with my riding. Obviously, would have wished to have been on the podium or a little bit further up, but. Overall, with uh, the week before and not being able to ride and, and having those injuries, I, I'll take it, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. How has this week been for you? Have you been able to ride a little bit more? Is it still pretty sore? Or... Yeah, it was. it's still pretty sore, to be fair. Um, I rode once this week. Um, just It's tough because you ride and then you make it worse. Um, but you, you want to be able to ride during the week. So uh, trying to get you know off the bike training as much as you can to kind of make up for it. But, yeah, hopefully this weekend it will be a – Maybe it'll rain, you know, that might help me out even more, but uh, we'll see. It'll be a good week, and then I think the weekend off will really allow me to get back to 100% and come come to those last, whatever it is, five, six, swinging. So the, the rain, like you said, it would help you out a little bit. It's not so bad with, like, fighting with ruts or anything. It's the impacts that's really hurt right yeah, now? Yeah, the impacts are, are quite hard. You know, like last week, the whoops were, were really challenging from my hand and shoulder, and then, like, the one quad, I just I didn't have strength all day, so I just didn't even do it. Um, so... Yeah, this, you know, riding's never easy, but when they, the big jumps are, are what seems to hurt it, like the big impacts um, and stuff like that. So obviously you can make it make it happen for, for 20 minutes plus one, but trying to save it throughout the day was kind of the strategy last week. But uh, like I said, I think we're a week better, seven days healthier, and uh, it's definitely feeling a lot better. So um, the hands, the hands honestly not too bad. It's It's been more the shoulder more than anything. So uh, yeah, just kind of using a different finger on the clutch and you know, holding on a little less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, after Detroit and being on the ground again, I just kind of wanted to build on a race, and uh, it was the track was really gnarly, so I, I got not a very good, very good start. Um, so I had to make a few passes, but then once I got into I don't know, maybe six or something like that, I actually was riding pretty good with behind Marv, but I just couldn't seem to get around him, and uh, missed the triple a few times, and then just kind of lost touch with those guys, but. Uh, yeah, Cooper's on me with a couple laps to go, which it was it was interesting because we we actually were riding pretty good at the end. So um, yeah, it was overall it, was, it wasn't a great race, but it wasn't uh, horrible either. So just trying to build off that and um, get back to where we belong. What's it like in a race like that too, where everybody's so close together? It's like stacked one on top of each other. Like the intensity of you know trying to catch somebody but not lose too much time to someone behind you. Like how do you kind of manage that a little bit? Yeah, it was actually crazy because. I felt like the gap was kind of big at the beginning, and then all of, us, all of us just kind of sucked up, like one through whatever, sixth place, seventh place. So it was kind of cool. I was like, oh, I was I was kind of just focused on Marvin trying to pass him, and then I saw Eli was like right up there, and then Barsha was in front of him. So um, it was kind of crazy, but you kind of just have to focus on hitting your marks and riding your own race, which is hard to do, but um, that's the kind of the key to success. Yeah, yeah. This weekend, I feel like the track is, is probably going to break down, not similarly to Indianapolis, yeah. but at least a lot. Um, you know, bike setting and, and how you're feeling with that right now. Has there been any changes that you made since the track has softened up a little bit? Um, not so much for the softness of tracks, but just overall, just trying to get better. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely going to break down. I won't, don't think it'll be as bad as Indy, 
it's going to be more of a I think it's going to be hard and have that soft too so it's going to be a little bit difficult to judge but I think it tracks good the dirt looks pretty sweet tacky so uh, I'm looking forward to it what about rain how do you feel about rain I uh, bring the rain I raced here in 2018 in the rain and uh, got second my rookie year so I'm I'm down for whatever dry rain don't really care Grew up racing in the rain, I'm sure. Yeah, right. Illinois has a lot of rain, yeah. so I, I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, let's see. During the break, I've been in Florida for the most part. I've been training at Sandbox, and uh, yeah, I got to know Ken a little bit. He's been working there. And uh, I got engaged during the break, oh, so right, that's yeah, super nice. exciting. Um, and I did a lot of outdoors, uh, many, many outdoor motos. And then I transitioned to Supercross. Let me tell you, it is easy compared to outdoors. <laughs> oh my gosh, my days are a breeze now. So, <laughs> so Sandbox, that's like a new thing for you? You're just trying that out a little bit? Or are you going uh, time? Or? That was a plan from the beginning of the season. So uh, still working with Will. But uh, Sandbox is kind of just where I'm at. Right. Uh, I, I really love Florida. I have a lot. Uh, I got some ties there. Yeah. Um, and so they kind of... In some ways, let me go there as a reward, and it was like, look, you were all in. You didn't complain a single day. You put in all the work. Like, you earned it. Go yeah. be in Florida, and it was kind of a trial run too, and uh, as far as like see how I do, see how my communication would be, and uh, I crushed it. So all good, all, all good. good. Yeah, feels um, good. So championship, kind of a little bit out of reach right now, obviously, but I'm sure you still want to go for racements and everything like that. Mindset mm -hmm. just kind of the same going into these last four. Absolutely, I'm I'm here to uh, win some races, and uh, hopefully it gets interesting. Uh, and you know we'll we'll see what happens with the championship. That's uh, you know really starting the year, you only can control what you can control, and uh, and it's really the same. And so it's you know I'm not not focusing on the results, just going to focus on uh, executing all the steps to get the result I want. And uh, hopefully at the end of the day it'll be there, but no promises. Um, honestly, we just went out and had fun after Daytona. I, I took a week off, kind of, just enjoying the time out in Florida. Um, went and did Day in the Dirt. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, just had a good time, you know, just enjoying the bike again and learning why I, why I, I guess, race dirt bikes. Just riding the 450. It was a lot of fun. And um, After that, yeah, got back on the 250 the week after Day in the Dirt. Um, worked on some things. We dealt with a lot of rain, though, back at Club of Max, so we didn't get to ride too much. I think we rode three days before three days total before Seattle. Okay. So uh, it was pretty mellow, but no, we just worked on the whoops a lot. You know, uh, on the 250, we noticed we were kind of stalling out the end of the whoops um, at A3. Once it got pretty technical, um, just a little uh, suspension issue. So we did a lot of testing with that uh, this Monday and made a lot of progress with it. So okay. uh, yeah, going pretty solid and yeah, ready to go. Nice, was there any outdoor testing also or was it just strictly supercross this, this whole break? Um, we planned on it, but since the rain kind of messed that all up and uh, kind of got a little sick during that break, oh, okay. sadly, again. So, uh, yeah, no, just took some time off, kind of chilled out, and uh, just got ready for uh, Seattle. Did the sickness uh, hamper you at all with training and stuff, or are you kind of back to where you were before the sickness? Um, I believe I'm back to where I was at. Uh, I just kind of a dumb little cold, so I was just kind of making sure I don't make it worse with my lungs or anything like that. So. Uh, but yeah, no, besides that, it was pretty solid. Um, this last week was probably one of the better weeks I've had on the bike okay. this whole year. And, nice. uh, yeah, no, it's been solid. Nice. Uh, obviously, you know, coming into the season, I think the goal would be a championship, but that's a little bit out of reach at this point. So is it kind of race wins now, or is it just, you know, you want to ride well, or what is the goal? Oh, of course, I want to win races. Um, we just got to put ourselves in a better position off the start, and the heat races in the mains. Um, did that A3. With a heat race win, uh, Bummer had a good start in the main, fell in the first turn due to a rock being covered with the paint, so yeah. that was a bummer. Uh, besides that, no, just, uh, of course, just getting back from the box where, where I belong. Haven't done that since um, Orlando of last year, so I uh, definitely feel like I'm a podium guy for sure, so just to build the momentum and do that. Yeah, just been training, uh, keep riding Supercross, rode a little 450 stuff. Uh, just been having fun, but yeah, can't stop working out and, and sticking to the daily grind to, to keep racing. But uh, the break actually went by pretty fast, and I'm excited to be back here racing, so ready to have some fun. You're in a great position in the points. Are you kind of, uh, I don't know, reassessing your goals going into the second half of this championship a little bit? Um, you know, I just want to stay consistent and keep having fun while we're doing it. So, uh, yeah, the goal is just to be uh, consistent top tens and hopefully crack the top five here and uh, just have some fun with it.
You think it might rain a little bit tomorrow? Not sure how much, but uh, where would you rate your mud skills? I love the mud. Okay. I'm just gonna have either way. I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> so it's all that matters, right? So rain or shine, we're gonna be out there tearing it up. Uh, it was kind of a last minute decision because I was I was kind of beat up from Anaheim three and uh, took my time, like took two weeks off mm -hmm. until body was really fully recovered, and then I had a pretty hard crash the second day on the bike so then I was like another two weeks out and couldn't really do anything um, so I was not planning on doing indie but then I was like ah, it's only a 10 hour drive and uh, Brandon Chair uh, my friend and trainer at yeah. he said I might race as well and then I said okay let's go together and yeah uh, got the 250 got the race bike from club and it's not only in a 450 class, yeah. it yeah. is, especially on a soft track like that, uh, 450 B practice being less on the yeah. on the track, it was yeah. gnarly, but looking at the track here, I think it was a really smart decision to do, because, yeah, it was soft, it was rutted, I I used it as a practice, I, I didn't take any risks, right. and uh, yeah, with a little more risk, a main event would have been possible, but I just didn't want to risk it and play it smart, and uh, yeah. Uh, now we're here and uh, ready to battle. So you said no risk last week, but last week in the LCQ when you saw Brandon a few spots in front of you, were you kind of like, oh, I want to go get him? Or... Uh, well, he he passed me and I was like, ah. But I I rewatched the race and that track on TV, it doesn't do just yeah, how it exactly. really was. So I was really just using it as a five minute practice race, okay. as stupid as it sounds. Yeah. But the other guys, they were pretty much sending it and I was just <laughs> not doing the rhythm section I should do and so yeah I mean bummer deal for Brandon losing so it close. losing it last last lap but yeah, yeah. Um, what else did you work on during the break uh, you know what were some key areas you hit on did you test any outdoors or was it just strictly supercross what was no it? honestly I was looking forward before A3 I said like okay we have five week break so yeah. that will be a little boot camp for me and I will plan it out perfectly and like I said I crashed in, in A3 and I think in these five weeks I was probably five with Indy maybe six times on the bike so it was not far it was far from where I was planning to do so okay. I also I couldn't really do much cardio because uh, yeah first A3 was a beat up leg and then yeah. with my crash I had a crash in the roofs and checked up my pelvis and my back and I couldn't really do much so just trying to make the best out of it and yeah no outdoors for me so far because yeah. I'm only on an Essex only contract so yeah uh, as it is for now Salt Lake is my my last race for a while and then we'll see all right um, so how do you kind of feel coming in off of the break and you know you said you're a little bit banged up and stuff but um, do you feel like you're ready to challenge for top tens? Maybe sneak in the top five again, or, or do you feel like it's gonna be a slow roll? Uh, no, I'm I'm definitely I'm happy to be back racing, and uh, I I want to be back in the top ten. Yeah. Uh, the speed was there the whole season, yep. we, but I just didn't put it together. I feel like I had some good heat races, and uh, yeah, just in the main event, either a poor start or most of the time I just got taken out because I left the door wide open. But yeah. I learned from that, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm excited to be back. It's it's nice to to have a little break and uh, now basically have a well not a fresh start but kind of a second start into right, the season. Right. So um, I feel like we stereotype Europeans as good in the mud, and it might rain this weekend. But you're you're kind of a little different because like German Supercross, it's a lot of indoor stuff. Yeah. You don't have a lot of outdoor stuff. Um, so how do you feel like your mud skills are? If it rained, are you kind of like, yes, or are you like, I don't know? I, I was watching the weather all week. Okay. Cause <laughs> we don't have any mud supercross races because it's all indoor, but we do have, or I had a lot of outdoor mud races, so I'm kind of familiar, and I would say compared to the, to the guys who live in California, I would see myself a little bit in an advantage okay. uh, in the mud, so we will see. But every weather app says something different, yep. so yep. who knows? I'll just take it as it is yep. and uh, yeah, have fun. Yeah, it was good. Uh, break was good. Took a couple weeks off after the crash in Anaheim 3, but yeah, we're all held up, ready to go. Uh, feel good on the bike. Got a little more preparation than I did in the beginning. 
uh, coming into the season. So I feel really good right now. I feel like I've stepped it up a little bit. So yeah, I think we're gonna be ready for this. And then the track is hopefully gets rutted up nice. And uh, yeah, hopefully we uh, got a good weekend. The season started off maybe a little bit slow for you and you were starting to build. Did that crash set you back a little bit or you feel like you're still kind of finding those building blocks? Uh, I mean, every crash obviously sets you back a little bit. Um, weeks off the bike obviously set you back, but I felt like it was a good little break for me and then just a reset, regroup, and then come out swinging. I feel like I've uh, worked on uh, the areas I've not been as good at this year. The starts are better now for sure. Uh, just everything feels a little bit more like we're ready to go racing now than when we uh, originally went racing. So I feel like this weekend is going to be a good weekend and uh, yeah, we'll put it on the podium. How much was uh, Supercross testing versus outdoor testing? Did you mix it up a little bit or was it a lot more Supercross focused? No, it was definitely both. Uh, I, I rode quite a bit of outdoors just because, um, yeah, we're trying to go out there and contend for a championship. That's the goal. So just uh, this is kind of not uh, went the way we expected it to, so I'm not really in the championship hunt anymore. We will still want to come out here and win races and be on the podium, but the main focus will be outdoors to go out there and win championships. So, yeah, we definitely did some outdoor stuff, get the bike dialed in just a little bit. So we got a base setting coming back, and uh, I feel like we've got a pretty good setup coming back. The bike's really good. We even got it faster than last year, so I think it's going to be a good season outdoors. And, uh, yeah, Supercross, we're going to finish out strong here the last four rounds. And lastly, you said you know, you're looking forward to maybe some rutted conditions here this weekend. It might rain a little bit, too. How do you kind of foresee that, you know, playing out to your strengths and weaknesses? But... Yeah, definitely the mud. Uh, last, not really mudder, but um, wet conditions I won. So, um, yeah, I think uh, the rain, obviously, the ruddier tracks, the East Coast dirt, and this is pretty soft dirt here. So. That plays more to my strengths. The hard pack I'm not as good on, but we're getting better. So it's uh, yeah, we're just learning every weekend and just trying to get.